Working carefully from a small beginning, he soon had a roaring fire over which he thawed the ice from his face and in the protection of which he ate his biscuits. For the moment, the cold of space was outwitted. What you just heard is from Jack London's 1908 short story, To Build a Fire, a glimpse of London's own experience in the Yukon, portraying the conflict between man and nature. He struggles to survive, huddling over a fire to eat some biscuits. How far we've come, now having the ability to travel with the luxuries of a full kitchen. This is Trail Newbie. Powered by Disciple Offroad. Alright, so welcome back to the channel. My last trip with Justin B. McBride and then Steven from Charge Overland was just awesome. We went into Nevada, had a great time. First time I'd met either of them in person, but obviously been following their channels for quite some time. This is not a trip video. This video is specific to my kitchen. And why now? Well, the last piece of my kitchen setup just arrived last week from Germany and it's called if you can see it there the Boxio now Boxio is actually known for making their off-road and camp and van life toilets this is not a toilet you don't need a toilet in the kitchen it is a fully contained kitchen sink which I'm just really excited about how I set it up I'm going to show you here in just a minute but since I got that last piece to my kitchen set up I want to take you through what I've got and also keep in mind my entire kitchen setup is contained within the Jeep and so I can sleep in there even with every kitchen piece in there all my boxes and everything that's the point I want to make to you today is to show you how compact your setup can be but how much you can actually have in terms of resources of a stove, a sink, boxes, everything you need. I mean, I feel like I have a full kitchen setup. So uh, stick with me. I'm gonna take you through the whole thing and I uh, hope you enjoy this kitchen overview. All right, so you've seen it already, but I think the most critical piece of gear for a great kitchen is a great fold down table. And not just any table, like a card table or something like that, something that is attached to the rig, in this case, the Jeep. And this product here is made by Outback Adventure Products, I believe it is, and it's called the Trail Gator. I'll put a link in the description for this. Not sponsored, anything like that. Just in my opinion, the absolute best tailgate table out there. Again, it's called the Trail Gator, play on words. It has this nice bamboo cutting board which I use all the time. Obviously, uh, metal here, you, should, you can keep that nice and clean. 
And then there's a second product here right in front of you, which is made by, I need to look at it, it's called Overland Outfitters. And it basically screws right in to the existing screw holes. And it's this whole uh, black canvas um, silverware organizer. I mean, it's the best way I can describe it here. And so without that, you're going in, you're always reaching in constantly and having to get silverware. It's just so quick, so easy to have it all right here. So that is a product in and of itself. All my silverware I get from Amazon, or I think I got this uh, plasticware from um, Sportsman's Warehouse or something like that. And uh, it's just so convenient to have everything right there. Now, you're probably seeing something here that is pretty common in a lot of overland rig setups, but maybe you haven't seen it this far out on a tailgate. And this is a new product from American Adventure Labs. One of the first and only things I have from them, but it's actually this little bracket right here that sits right down on uh, what is almost like a cup holder area of the JL tailgate. And then they give you this extra long food grade hose that goes all the way to my Dometic tank, which is inside the Jeep. It's actually way up there on my shelf. And uh, here's your faucet. Well, I really don't want the faucet down here. I've Velcroed it on. Really want the faucet right here. Now, if I turn this faucet on, you know what's gonna happen. It's gonna spray water onto my cutting board. This faucet for my setup is going to be specific to drinking water. I only put filtered water in my Dometic jug. So if I'm ever using this, it's going to be because I have a cup underneath or maybe a pot or pan, uh, maybe my jet boil underneath because I'm getting fresh filtered water from this Dometic tap. Now you're going to go crazy because by the end of this, I'm going to have two faucets. Remember, I have that Boxio, which I'm gonna show you here shortly, but I have this faucet here for fresh filtered drinking water, and the Boxio is mainly gonna be used as a proper sink to you know, wash vegetables, wash my hands, things like that. Um, so we'll get to the Boxio here in a minute. Now, in order to set up the next piece of the kitchen with the Boxio and everything, I have my front runner wolf pack boxes on legs that you've seen on the channel before and for some reason when they show up in a video uh, that video tends to get a lot of views and a lot of interaction and comments and so on so I'm gonna set those uh, up for you right now it's just gonna be one of my pullouts uh, for this video I actually have two full uh, pullouts here I'll probably just leave one in the Jeep because uh, it's not really necessary to show you for the kitchen setup so let me get that set up for you um, cue the time-lapse all right so there you have it front runner boxes on legs and uh, if you want to see how to build these for yourself I've got a video uh, go back to my channel you'll be able to see uh, that whole setup, how I put these all together. Um, it's really helped me out on the trail, just in terms of having access to my gear, keeping it up off the ground, and not having to deal with boxes being down in mud, things like that. Um, not only that, but it gives me kind of a little bit of a prep space here at you know a nice bar height or counter height where I can put stuff, again, not having to put stuff down on the ground, pick it up uh, and all of that sort of stuff. So let me show you where I'm gonna put these boxes in my kitchen. First, I need room for my Boxio and I'll show you where that's gonna go and how it actually attaches to these front runner boxes here. So hang on, let me get this just positioned right. That should be just about right. And that new Boxio sink, you're wondering, where's it gonna go? It's actually gonna go right here. There's no legs for it, but I have a special way that I'm gonna attach it to the side of my front runner boxes. It's really easy, super low key, nothing exciting that you need to do in terms of some really complicated setup or anything like that. But my sink 
is gonna be nice, just right here. Food prep, sink, food storage, pots and pans, and stuff like that down here. And you pretty much have a full kitchen. So let me show you how this boxio is gonna get set up. What I'm gonna do to attach the boxio to the front runner boxes is I'm gonna use some zip ties. And when you're out on the trail, you always wanna have some zip ties handy, uh, whether there's kind of a trail repair or something like that that you need to do. But in this case, just two zip ties is all it's gonna take for me to attach the boxio to the side of this front runner box system here. So I'm gonna start by uh, inserting this into some holes that I drilled in the corner on uh, each side here. All right, I'm gonna move this cutting board out of the way because this is where the boxio is gonna go. We need a little room for that. The boxio has a 1.3 gallon tank uh, of fresh water and then an equal size tank, 1.3 gallons for what you call, you know, your gray water, I guess. So after you're done washing your hands, after you're done washing some dishes, stuff like that, that's where your fresh water is gonna turn into gray water and the boxio captures all of it in here. So even with a little bit of water in here, uh, it's fairly lightweight, you know, anybody could really carry this around. Um, and I'm also, you know, gonna attach it to the side here just with two zip ties and show you how just two zip ties can hold this all together. So let me do that for you. Give me just a second. So the front is gonna be facing out here. Gonna just pull this up like so, slide the zip tie through a uh, kind of pre-made hole that I uh, drilled in the side of the boxio. I know you might not be able to see this uh, perfectly here, but uh, these zip ties are what's gonna hold this whole thing together. Let me just get that tight. So I got one on, scoot over to this side, pop this zip tie through, and before you know it, the boxio is attached. Let me give you kind of a close up of uh, how that looks. As you can see, just a couple holes drilled and a zip tie on each side. All right, now that the boxio is on, we can slide our cutting board area all the way back over and let's take a look at what's inside the boxio. Lid just lifts right off and sits over the back. This here is a little pressure pump and here is the faucet. Now this faucet is very high quality. Honestly, it's like something that you would see just in anybody's house. Um, made in Germany, so you kind of have an expectation that the quality of this is gonna be a little bit on the higher end, and it truly is. But now, let me show you how to operate this. One of the first things you need to do is this here, when there's pressure, uh, you can release it by turning it counterclockwise. But to seal it off so you can create pressure in the tank, you turn it clockwise until it can't turn any longer. You can put this back down in its kind of little uh, seat there. And then you squeeze this. Let's squeeze it maybe 10 times just to demonstrate. But you can create a good amount of pressure with this little, um, it reminds me of one of those things that doctors used to use when they do your uh, blood pressure. I think it's probably the same thing. So now that I've created some pressure, we can go ahead and turn on the sink. So you can use the water obviously for washing your hands, for washing dishes, for uh, really whatever you need. Yes, you could drink from this. The water that I put in the tank is, you know, drinking water, it's no problem. You could use this for that. But again, this is primarily gonna be for washing fruits and vegetables, washing my hands, cleaning dishes and stuff like that. And again, it captures all of the gray water underneath in a tank that's up front here. So when you're done, you take that tank out, go dump it out, you're good to go. So I really love the Boxio and I really love what it's done to create this entire kind of kitchen layout that I have here. So let's move on to uh, what's next, cooking. Now for cooking, uh, I use the Jetboil Genesis stove. This thing is awesome. Honestly, you really can't go wrong with Jetboil as a brand, just kind of the highest quality, um, they work at 
high elevations. I have tested this thing at 11,000 feet in elevation and it works like a charm. It's also super low profile and easy to carry. Uh, it fits in one of my front runner boxes that's still in the back here. Now, normally I would have this uh, potentially in one of these boxes and I'm still trying to figure out kind of the layout of what I want in these more specific kitchen boxes. What I have in here is food and then all my coffee stuff, which food, coffee stuff, those are things that I really need to get to more quickly. And so that box being out or that box being my top box that's uh, in the back of my Jeep there. Um, I think I'll probably leave it that way or I might put this uh, jet boil Genesis stove in one of these boxes. So this jet boil, whenever I'm cooking, just sets up right there on the metal piece of that trail gator table. Um, super easy to set up as you can see. Let me hook this thing up to propane really quick. So for propane, I'm using this five pound Ignic, I think it's called a growler or something like that. Uh, I'm not completely sure, but I'll uh, make sure to put the right name down here in the corner. Uh, this is just an awesome little propane tank. It's high quality. Uh, I used to have the 10 pound one that was in the back on my shelf, but the problem was that 10 pound one, I was storing it sideways. And I got a lot of comments that said, hey, don't store a propane tank sideways, which is just something that I didn't know. So uh, I got this smaller one so that I could store it upright on my shelf in the back of my Jeep. And uh, honestly, it's nice and tucked away. So let me go ahead and get this uh, hooked up. It's super easy. And there you have it, stove all set up. All right, now that we're almost all the way set up here, let me just kind of clean this up for you a little bit. Uh, this is obviously where I sleep on my deep sleep mattress. And then here is my other set of front runner boxes that slide out and that has a set of legs uh, as well. But I want to show you one other thing that I think is obviously important for a kitchen and that is to have water and water storage. So my Dometic, faucet for drinking water, the uh, Dometic tank back up here, but I also have some bulk water storage, two Rotopacks uh, right here attached underneath my Vector uh, Off-Road Highland shelf, I think it's called. Um, so having that extra water is always a plus, especially if you're going out on a long trip to be able to have that um, at your disposal, you're never gonna run out. Uh, with that much water. The combination of the water in the Boxio, the water in the Dometic, and this bulk storage under here, be dialed in, it's probably, gosh, I don't know, approaching 10 gallons when you add it all together. So water storage, water, not an issue for this kitchen setup. Now, every kitchen needs what? A kitchen table. Uh, the table that I use is a little bulky, but the nice thing is it fits right under my deep sleep and actually helps kind of level my deep sleep out. So I'm gonna pull that table out, set it up really quick, just so you can see. Uh, I think it's made by Red Camp. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of brands that use the exact same table. They just slap their uh, logo on it. So let me pull that out real quick and show you my kitchen table. And there you have it. It's a little low, but as you know, camp chairs are also pretty low down. So I've never had an issue where the table was so low that it just wasn't comfortable to sit there and uh, eat at. But the nice thing about this is you could really get four people around this comfortably, one on each end, two on each side uh, with some food in the middle. So it was important to me to have a large enough table that you could actually use it, right? 
you don't want to buy gear that you're not going to use. So this was uh, given to me by my brother-in-law. Shout out to him for picking this out. Um, I've been using it for a couple years. Held up really well. Uh, I really love it. So there is the kitchen table. Now, where do I keep my food cold? Because this whole time in the back of my Jeep, you haven't seen a refrigerator, a Yeti, nothing. Am I hiding it in the front runner boxes? No. What I have in uh, the back of the Jeep, just behind the driver's seat is a Dometic 25. That's perfect for me. I don't need something much bigger than that. Uh, so let's go uh, check that out now. And besides, we need to get the food out so it can kind of start coming to room temperature because we're gonna start cooking here in just a few minutes. All right, so here is my Dometic 25. And in here, just have a few things for tonight. Uh, obviously, I can fit a whole lot more uh, in there than just this. Uh, we're gonna start cooking here in a minute. Um, when you do this, does everybody do this on the Dometics to make sure that they close? Uh, I have to do it every time. The uh, compressor in here, people have asked me, does that wake me up at night when it kicks on and all of that? And first of all, I'd say it's super quiet. And additionally, I sleep with kind of a noisemaker making the sound of rain. So I don't notice it at all. All right, so that's my Dometic. It's the only piece of the kitchen that isn't out back here. But like I said, there'd be no other way for me really to put the fridge in the Jeep while still keeping this whole side clear for me to be able to sleep. So it's getting late. As you can see, it's kind of golden hour right now. This lighting is, uh, you know, really unique. I'm gonna go ahead and get the food out, start setting that out, start prepping, and uh, gonna cook up a nice, easy little dinner of some Korean style ribs, which I learned of and have begun to love from a buddy of mine. Uh, his name is Neville. Uh, we call him Next Level Neville. He made them for us one time when we were out on a trail with Ed Shin's Patreon group. And honestly, I've tried to find these Korean style ribs anywhere I can ever since. Uh, gonna do up some Brussels sprouts. That's like, you hated those when you were a kid. Now that you're a grown up, like you order it at a nice steakhouse, right? It's really weird how that works. I'm gonna go and get those out. Probably just relax for a little bit, do some cooking and um, I hope this gave you a good overview of my kitchen setup. Um, it's working really well for me. And as you've seen, everything fits back inside the Jeep while I can still sleep down this side. That's key. If I pull up somewhere and it's raining, I wanna be able just to get out, hop in that side, go to bed if I need to, not have to get gear out so that I can sleep in my Jeep. Um, but just every piece of this kitchen puzzle fits together in a special and unique way uh, to create what I've got here, which is my uh, overlanding kitchen setup. Well, the sun is setting, so don't need the sunglasses anymore. But every proper sink needs hand soap. How many times have you been out? I know I've done it a thousand times. We all pretty much just wash our hands by rinsing them in some water, maybe some hand sanitizer from time to time. But uh, the beauty of having this Boxio sink is that I can actually use it and use soap. And then the soap isn't just going, you know, down a stream or anything like that. It's contained here in the Boxio. So with that, before cooking, always good to wash your hands. Just look at this uh, beautiful sunset. Um, it's actually got that orange glow.
because they're doing a uh, prescribed burn down there just east of Shaver Lake. You can see that off in the distance. So beautiful spot. There's no shortage of amazing spots in California. Alright, so uh, that's going to wrap up this video. Full disclosure, Boxio did send me that uh, kitchen sink. I'm going to put a link to it down in the description um, where I hope there will be a uh, discount code for you, so go look for it. Um, it's just a great product. Nothing else here um, essentially has been given to me. Uh, it's all stuff that I've purchased with my own money. And so when you're watching this video, please know that this is not some big advertisement necessarily. I wanted to show you this kitchen setup so that you, the viewer, might get some ideas about how maybe you want to set up your rig uh, for overlanding, car camping, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to finish up uh, dinner here, get cleaned up, and uh, I'm going to head out. I'm not staying the night tonight. Got to head back down the hill, work tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to get things uh, moving here. As I always say, thanks for coming along for the ride. And if you would, like, subscribe, comment. If you have questions about any of the gear that I've put uh, in front of you today, just let me know. I'll be happy to answer those for you. So uh, thanks again.